Okay, just going to do a very quick video. This is my Philips uh, radiogram that I've had about a year. It's from 1956 or maybe a little later. So I serviced the motor uh, last year and cleaned up some of the mechanism around the controls. Also fitted um, a new head to it. Now this is the first time I've actually taken the platter off. So you can see there's lots of dirt and stuff in there. Now I was also expecting to see some little ball bearings but it seems to be just a plain shaft so I'm going to grease that um, and then probably just put it back together again. To remove the platter I've had to remove the circ clip in the centre and I've just priced that off and I've used a lump of blue tack to make sure that it doesn't fly off. Now to get the actual platter up itself I'm going to have to wedge a couple of screwdrivers down the side and just lever it up. This is the platter so I think it's just a plain shaft in there and this is part of the auto change mechanism or possibly just the uh, the mechanism which uh, moves the tone arm across. Um, I've managed to nick the side of the platter quite badly um, in trying to get it out with screwdrivers which is a bit silly of me so I'm going to um, probably just um, use a little bit of fine emery paper on that just to um, smooth that out so hopefully that will be okay okay well it's not perfect but it's a lot cleaner I just used some tissue paper and some cheap glasses cleaning wipes there we are cleaned and re-greased I'm not entirely sure where the grease needs to go but there seem to be traces on this bit down here and also this column here with the large spiral in and of course inside where the central column goes. I've also cleaned the um, the rim with a little bit of fine emery, emery paper and also another one of these uh, little screen or glass wipes. Okay there it is all back together again. So I'll just give it a quick power test. So there it is running at 78 rpm. Now I've also manually tested that the start button works. This is for auto starting and getting the tone arm to drop onto the record. Now I don't actually use this for um, 78s and this um, head on there at the minute is just for 78s but uh, at least I know that the mechanism inside is still functioning properly. Okay that's it for now. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr RG Stuff.